Good morning. Um, I am in a little bit different location today. My goat, Mary Jane, is in the early stages of labor, so I'm hanging out with her. Um, generally, I hang out with my goats when they are in the early phases so that um, those bonding hormones work in my favor. Um, let's see if I can get some more Mary Jane footage here. She is a full-blood Nubian and uh, has really good milk. Her milk bag's been full for almost two weeks. Um, I may end up having to milk her some just so the baby can latch on. Um, all my other female goats have given birth um, late afternoon, right before sunset. So um, I don't know exactly when she will be giving birth, but she's not wanting to eat. So, um, being that I've only assisted in one, two, uh, four births, and this is my first round of babies with her, um, we'll be wait and observe. Some goats don't give you any signs except that their milk bag fills up, and then you find them with baby goats when you go check on them and put them to bed. Um, others uh, will have discharge or uh, what's called bloody show um, before they give birth and that can happen up to 24 hours in advance. You just have to keep an eye on them and help them keep clean um, because you don't want mud and feces and stuff sticking to their area um, and promoting infection. So for the most part, I'm pretty hands-off. I just kind of hang out with them and help dry off babies, especially if there's going to be more than one. And um, all except one of my births, the babies have been kind of out of it. And that's often due to um, low selenium. And so I keep molasses on hand and cayenne pepper. Um, but the thing is, if you take the babies away from the mama overnight, um, there's a slight chance you can reintroduce them by rubbing the baby all over the mama and helping them to latch on. But most of the time, if they're out of the sight and don't spend that first few hours with mama, um, that the mom's not going to re-accept them. So, however this shakes out, I will probably be hanging out with Mary Jane and check on, checking on her through the day. And I will probably be spending a few hours with her, making sure that the baby or babies wakes up and latches really well and gets perky before I head in uh, to go to bed myself. Um, this is not Mary Jane's first baby. I got her from my friend Shayla and um, she's not a very good mom. She's not a bad mom, like she doesn't hurt the baby, but she doesn't keep track of her babies real well. Um, so I will be keeping an eye on her and eye on the baby but it also gives me an opportunity to bottle feed the baby a little bit. And um, Mary Jane's a milk goat. So I'm going to milk, be milking her from the beginning. Um, you know, my only experience with milk and milk production is that I've nursed all six of my children. <laughs> and if I start from the beginning taking the milk that my family needs from Mary Jane as she will be overburdened with milk for the first two weeks. It should adjust so that I don't have to separate her and her baby to get the milk that we need um, for baking and stuff. Now, uh, Nubian milk, from my experience, is that the first 24 hours it tastes like very sweet cow's milk. After that 24 hours, it does get really goaty. Um, but you can um, seed it with microbes like um, I have probiotics and it makes a really thick creamy creamy yet pourable um, substance you can make cheese and stuff out of it I haven't had any luck with that yet um, but you can do that it tastes really good in biscuits and things that you're gonna cook you don't it instead of it being goaty it just adds a richness note behind there so um yeah this i mean we're not we're not anywhere close to being self-sustainable on our homestead but we have goats we have chickens my husband's wanting to raise some lambs either this fall or next spring 
Um, we're fixing in infrastructure because we have predators picking off our chickens. <laughs> Um, but we don't have the infrastructure to keep them pinned in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So right now it's all, it's all learning. We do have a walled in garden, um, uh, made out of pallets and, um, we have a goat pen and then we have a pen next door that our goats stayed in, but was thrown up really quick because we got our goats originally had 24 hours notice that our friend needed us to come get them. So, it, you know, it's all a learning process. I hope you guys find this video enjoyable. And I'll be coming back at you with some uh, scripture uh, probably later today. All right, much love and many blessings to you all. Bye-bye.